the all the glory. Then I ask everyone, what glory do you give? What do you mean if you sing and say we give the all glory? With the backdrop that you can't give what you don't have. It's quite a thing to give what you don't have. Um, it's, it's, if I come here and say I give you the decree, <laughs> it's quite a thing, eh, man? I'm not saying it, I said it that time. I'm just passing. Because we were deep, I, and I tend to, at that time, also I was in the certain space. I'm more older now, I think I'm more patient now. It was just after that song that was introducing me, we give all glory. Then I started to think about it. What are we really giving? If giving depends on what you have. For God so loved the world that he gave what he has. It's just a thought. Amen. I'm in Acts chapter 2. Again, thank you to everyone who presented the offering. Gentlemen, you did so well. Incredible name, man. Um, the um, Acts chapter 2, verses 14 to 18, I think you then you move a Thank you, Lord. Amen. While we get into that, I want you to be open because your life will be marked today if you allow it to be. Uh, it might not change, but you will have a mark. God has proclivities of marking you now to manifest in 10 years. Sometimes we think the marking of God now you will be powerful tomorrow. We, we tend to think what you received now have to manifest tomorrow. So please work with me as we work the text and then we'll pray together. Acts chapter 2, let's read together uh, over verse 14. One, two, three, let's read. But Peter, standing up with the eleven, Raised his voice and said, And all ye that dwell in Jerusalem, be not unto you, and hearken to my words. For these are not drunken, as ye suppose, see. It is that they should see the bell move move to the papalas non puzam or nine so when they can continue. Spoken by Prophet John, and it shall come to pass in the last days, said God, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. And your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. And on my servants, and on my mates, I will pour out in those days of my spirit, and they shall, shall prophesy. Father, bless the reading of your word. Holy Spirit, give us the anointing the grace, our talents, and patience that we can embrace and eat your word with wisdom, with power, and with the direction of the Holy Spirit. We thank you for what you have already purposed to do. We thank you for the anointing that break yokes, that lift burdens. We thank you that depression is going to be dealt with tonight. Anxieties will be cast out. Pressure will be disappointed. And you raise an army for yourself that you can harvest the nations in the years to come. Mark those that you have purpose to mark. Put a mark on their forehead 
that wherever they go and whatever the enemy try, they have a mark that you will use them for your glory. We ask all this in Jesus' name. Someone say amen. amen. Uh, please come tomorrow. Prophet Msimamo, the great brother, is going to be teaching you a powerful word. Amen. amen. I am um, to the topic presenter. And I'm, I'm sure we're still going to talk in the executive a bit afterwards. I want to also work with your topic and then view it and share my thoughts and my impressions and what I feel in my heart in as far as the topic is concerned. If you will view, I read the same topic which is in Joel chapter 2 but I read it from the book of Acts chapter 2 um, the reason being scripture has to interpret scripture and also as we investigate and look at it I believe with what God has put in my heart we might um, highlight in the light of God might highlight certain things in your heart one of the reasons that we have to observe is in the book of Joel, Joel is an interesting prophet. Um, if you, obviously, you are a Bible scholar or you read or you have interest in the Bible, because Joel prophesied, um, some, most of scholars say, he will prophesy post-Babylonian exile. And he was prophesying from a space where he was in Judah when he prophesied. It's always important to get a context of a thing and where a person was and what it meant. So Joel comes towards when then now uh, um, Israelites, uh, Jeremiah and the likes, the earlier prophets, I do also want to encourage younger people to take time to read the book of the prophets. Guys, don't run away. It is not boring. There is me today. If you go to your Bible, don't run away from Jeremiah, Jonah, you know, and Micah and Isaiah. There is, there is life in them. So you find guys like Isaiah who prophesy and speak to what was going to happen. The deal about the prophets, um, um, I'll get to it, is when you summarize the prophets and how they prophesy, you realize that God always warned people because people tend to forget God in nice times. Really, if you read the whole prophets, either minor or major prophets, you realize it's always a warning. That's why they cry out. That's why there are not many people's uh, preferred book to read, because they always warn people. Uh, uh, you find uh, Jeremiah says, if you don't repent, this is what's going to happen to you. Yeah. And people turn to um, when they are in luxury. People tend to forget the influence of sin in their lives. And then he cries out and says, return to God. I don't know why whenever there is an alarm, a sound that says return to God, we tend to look down on it as people. And then they are taken to Babylon. And then Hezekiel, who is one of my favorite guys, he prophesied within Babylon. That's a story for another day. It's a guy who understood and find himself under the hand of Babylonian system, but he cried out while he's in Babylon. Oh, yes. But also, even though in Babylon we see the power of righteousness when we look at Daniel and his three guys, because they chose not they chose not. They made up in their heart. Yes. That they're not going to defy themselves. Oh, we should say amen. Oh, they chose not to defy themselves. 
They chose not to define themselves. I was talking about them that sometimes we get uh, 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 so taken by their walking fire, mount, uh, lion's mouth shut down. We get taken by them prophesying, speaking to, uh, um, um, uh, speaking to uh, Nebuchadnezzar, interpreting dreams. Yeah. But there was a time where God was not really instructing them. God didn't seem to be around them. And God didn't seem to walk with them through the fire. But it was in the time when God had not called them where they chose him. Yes. They were in school like you are in school. Take care now. They come at school and this school you because you know you guys know Bible they needed not to eat because they were a uh, Jews their worship is a certain type of worship their ways are different than Babylon's I wish you will then understand that your God is different than the God of Babylon if you take time on that it might influence your dress code it might influence your friends it might influence your hobbies. It might influence your phone. It might influence what you serve at night. If you realize that your God is a holy God. Oh yes. One of the reasons why I chose to get to that to read this verse from, from the book of Acts, it's because on Joel. It is prophesied that God will pour his spirit. That's, that's, that's many years before. Joel is around 500 BC, uh, prophesied 510 to 15. That's many years. But in the book of Acts, then now, the spirit to be poured is defined. Yes, sir. It's a holy one. Don't miss that. Now, when we get to the book of Acts, we are told the character. The persona of this spirit that is going to be poured. Yes, because if you don't know what's going to be poured, you might not be able yes, to receive it. Sure. In the book of Acts, we are told it's not just a spirit, he's holy. Yes, he's holy. Yes. So it's important then to understand that now he's holy. Yes, Someone say amen. Yeah. Could you please say talk to me? I will. Thank you so much for asking. I really want to just talk for now. I will. Thank you so much. Um, so we then understand that is a holy one. So these these four Hebrew boys they do something extraordinary. They are asked for three days, and I want you to highlight this. At this point in time, God has not encountered them. They don't seem to be special. They don't seem to have any calling in their lives. They are all taken in a school, in a class. But there's something in their spirit that says, we're going to choose to be different. We just choose it. It's a choice not to define us. Yeah. Hallelujah, Mass. It's a choice. It's a choice. It's a choice. So why there is no God that seems to be backing them in fire, their choice is pushing them. To think different, eat different, go in different places than the other. In fact, at that particular time, their choice seemed to make them behind the trends. Yeah, they are irrelevant on choice on that particular season. And then I want to submit it to you, ladies and gentlemen. It took about three years for God not to say much, but to observe their choice. Oh, yes. They said for 10 days, trials. After 10 days, they were okay. Then for three years, they were not eating what needs to be eaten. For three years, God was not even saying, I'm happy about what you're doing. No, no, God, there, there's no revelation of God. It's a choice of men. They were chosen anyway. They're struggling if they're struggling. Luckily, they are covered, they are fees. But if we uh, put context in our context, they're struggling with everything that everyone's struggling with. But their struggle doesn't move them from their choice. Yes, 
they, they prefer to have one gene, but they don't want anyone to sponsor them. Because they have chosen. Oh, yes. They go to prayer every night. You know, things are happening, but we have made a choice. We have vowed. We have vowed to choose our God. Because mostly people become now, they elevate you when you are having a fourth man on the fire. But it takes a while. <laughs> it takes a while to walk with God. The scripture says Moses chose to suffer the afflictions with the people of God than to enjoy passing pleasures. Uh, Say the other thing in the intention Thank you again. Okay. I, I, I really want to start talking because you guys are young. One of my plead as I do present my presentation is I understand that there is a lot of knowledge now. You can go to YouTube and get any subject, and now you can sound deep with no experience. I, I, I want to compare you to be patient. In the processes of God, I'll just give a new gold. But you, you young, you don't know. That's gold. I, I compare you by the mercies of God, not to try to sound deep when spirits are weeping you privately. You, you might hold one message, but as long as it's gonna become you, you can uphold that message. <laughs> One of the things you will learn as you grow is that really spirits are not impressed by hooping, voicing, English, singing. They just really want to see what you're saying. Are you living it privately? Yes, sir. That's why when God teaches on prayer, he says go to a private space. Yes, because spirit observe your private place than your public space. Yes, sir. Keep that in mind. If, if I come now and say, Lord, you are worthy to be praised, he's not really hearing that. Particularly if you are not able to say it when you're by yourself. Because true worship and some true messages and some true communion is things that are born out of you and him in a private space. I, I, I know you're living in a Instagram world where a friend is a close friend, he's a bestie online when you have not spoken to them for months. Y'all have five people, he's my bestie, but together, man, you know, it's one person should talk anything going on, but the online community knows you as best. But don't apply that same principle to God, yes, sir. because he is not pleased by public performance that does not know him privately. Yes, Don't, don't, don't try to be strong in the Lord publicly. You are exposing yourself to spirit to demonstrate to you what happens to people who confess God with their mouth and their hearts are far from God. Uh, so these, these young people, um, 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 now and again, anyone, wherever you are, just keep saying that thing. You know? Whenever you feel, just say it, right? You, you are free. Just when, when you feel something, just say that thing, right? It can work that way. So these boys chose. It's very important that we understand that they chose him. Chose him when it's not popular, but they chose him. Oh, Shalisa, I chose him privately. I, I want to also encourage you, would you choose him privately? Choose him in the room. When, 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 when Jesus was teaching on prayer, it's, it's an amazing uh, teaching anyway. Uh, he says, they say, teach us how to pray as John teaches disciples. It's that by, in one of the gospel, he tells them, when you pray, uh, shut the door. And then he says, pray to the Father. And then the prayer starts this way. He says, our Father, who art in heaven. Uh, right there, he tells us that this father you're praying into is not on earth. Acknowledge the location of the father. He says, I want to give you, you want to pray, I want to teach you something here. You're not praying to someone who's close to you. He's in heaven. I, I do know some of people, 
I'm, I'm apostolic and kingdom based. That's my kind of like backdrop. Uh, I teach kingdom and very apostolic in, in sense. So I know certain people now are thinking, but it's in us. I, I'll get to you now. Let's work with the prayer. He, 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 he says, our father who's where? In heaven. You ought to understand that heaven is not really a location that is up. I just came from another time zone to another time zone. When we were flying back to where we were flying for, it was too up to get to um, um, our Netherlands and too down to get to South Africa. So if I was in Houston and say God is up, I would be pointing Netherlands. Geography people can help us. Then you will then understand that God is not, heaven is not up, heaven is a dimension. Because if you say up, you're pointing Germany because you're here. I know you don't know. You're going to fly, okay? Um. Now I'm just, I'm being honest. You guys are here. So, flip. okay, okay, okay. Let's put it this way. Let's put it this way. Now, Baba Wazul, umu kibenda, we are going to We are, we are new. Exactly. It's just that it's closer, but you keep climbing. So the point is, heaven is a dimension. Leave that. He says, this father that you need to engage, he is. He has a location. He's in heaven. Our father who's where? In heaven. And then he tells us that holy is his name. So what he's telling here is there is a protocol to approach this father. Because it's not down the road and it's not in a filthy place. He's a God in heaven that is preceded by holiness. So you cannot access him outside purity. It's in your Bible. In fact, Psalms, I think 24 tells us who can ascend to the mountain of God? It doesn't say he who preaches well or who drives a Porsche or who sings well. It says he who has a pure heart and a clean hands. Uh, uh, my brother was saying that because in this kingdom, uh, it's really not what you materially own if it's not spiritually possessed. So he says if you approach this God, you better watch your heart, your hands, and who you been worshipping. Because there are dimensions that might close to you, not to reach him, because he's a holy God. So there is a protocol of holiness that you must acquire to come to him. Yes, 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 yes. So you must, you know one of my worries is, because I've been where you are, you've not been where I am. And I've seen some of the, mis the mistakes we've done where, where you were. And now I'm passionate to let you know some of the things I've observed over time, some of the mistakes we've done. You, you tend to rush to be deep where you should be rushing character. <laughs> let, me, let, me, let me advise you. You still have two years, three years. You're too young. The fire you need is an internal fire right now. If you had any goal, if I were to advise you, it's your first year, I would say, Lord, teach me to be pure. And it has to be your three years. Until you finish a diploma, I, I, I ask for purity. And your revelation that is experiential, not that you, you took from YouTube, it has to be what you did. Okay, let me, I'll work with you because you're scripture people. So, um, the very thing Peter says, um, uh, don't, uh, we are, they are not drunk. In Konotu, they're going to behave differently. So, don't be shocked by this strange behavior. Because it's people who are intoxicated that normally behave strangely. But Peter says, this strange acting, uh, please be calm with it because these people, you might swear them and they'll hurt you. I know it's strange. Okay, I'll, I'll talk to you. I, I know it's funny. Uguti, you might want to show your body they look like aunties. It's strange to me. But they are strange people anyway. 
they have a thinking about their body that is not common. They're strange. They're strange. They're strange. They're strange. Oh yes, they're strange. Saints. So I ask you to be aware that they might not be famous as the world or secular or Babylon show fame. This one, they might be okay with not being known, but they are known. Yeah. Strange beings. There's a, there's, a, there's a party that is burning down the road. They are in the room playing some music that makes no sense. It, it's funny. They seem drunk. Yes, he says, I want to warn you, they've tasted of things that are above what you have. They are intoxicated with something that's how, how, uh, those of you who are born again, I, I compare you by message of God. Stay firm and stay pure. Amen. Don't let grief in your stead. Don't, 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 don't allow it. Don't allow it. Because we, we who are older, we have to tell other people they are strange. Be okay with them. They might be singing the whole night. It's all good. They, they might be just getting their Bible, school and Bible and singing, school and Bible and singing. But I tell you, after 10 years, it will make sense when you meet them and you, they meet you that they were strange, but their strange was with wisdom. <laughs> oh, yes. So I want to just let someone know here who has one gene. One gene doesn't change anything. One of the things I learned, I, I did go to school directly. One of the things I learned, on exam time, they really don't ask your fashion. Yeah. What bothers me about the exam room, Ganyam, is by coming up from Wednesday, we're famous. Who's <laughs> <laughs> it? Zimbi. When you get to a lecture room, they don't even ask about how poor your family is. They don't really care. They just want to know you study. <laughs> So it's a spirit that makes you feel inferior yeah. in a place that didn't ask you about where you come from. Amen. Oh, you missed it. Yeah. It's it, 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 it's a spirit that makes you feel walking here. I'm not worth it. When you it, this place doesn't ask worth. It just one answers. Keep this in mind. Here you don't come here for showing the phone. They don't even say what type of a phone you have on exam. <laughs> so for you to be under pressure because you don't have an iPhone and you don't even know why you need it, you are just bound by spirit. Here they don't really ask your grandmother, are you raised? Do you have both of your parents at home? No one cares. There's nothing like that when it comes to the exam time. So why then you are bothering yourself with fashion in times of passing better? In fact, this is a spirit because I can help you. And one of the things I've learned about institutions at school is you can you can be up there with one gene if you pass well. <laughs> because we respect people who can pass here. Yeah. When companies are scouting, they don't scout you about your Uti number followers among that. They just want to look at your marks. And they say, no, give those three students their top in their class. So anyone who feel like I come from a bad family or poor family, I can give you a secret. Study like you have no future. And look at people with iPhone bound to you. That day you take a kumbat. It's only on that time where they'll put down an iPhone and play. So tell you never, don't put yourself under pressure. Come on. Anyway, wait, 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 wait. Let's, let's keep going. Let's keep going. So Peter says these people are not drunk. What does he say? These people are not drunk. They are just strange. And, and it's important that I highlight that. It's not my point, but it's important that I highlight that, particularly in our times, because there is pressure for the sons of God to look like the sons of the world. Refuse that pressure. Refuse it. Refuse it. Refuse it. Refuse it. Choose to stand for God in an hour or an era where people compromise God. Oh, Daddy Javasa. Can I, can I say something? Thank you. It, it, it will be, it might seem very um, a drunk vibe to have a record that you came here, you dated no one until you left. It, it, it really seem like uh, this is strange. 
But ask a brother who has lived like maybe twice than your age. We've seen people who we used to laugh at in high school because all the news books. And, and, and university, they, we, we thought they had no style. And now that we live life enough, we realize they had something we did not know. Be strange. Be okay with being strange. Uh, am I talking to someone? Else? Be okay being strange. You know, umuwazu blue spot. I don't know what you guys call it. I'm I'm when I was old, so just just be okay with what you have. Don't put yourself under pressure. Anyway, so he says, these people are strange, but I want to, I want to, I want to work with you. Then he says to them, but this is the fulfillment of scripture. Yeah. We're getting there. He says, this is the fulfillment of, of scripture. What you see is what was spoken. And now we are the fulfillment of what was spoken. Yeah. Are we together? Yeah. But here, he, here now we know that what's going to come to them is not only just a spirit, but he's a Holy Spirit. Yes. So I, I want to take time on this. Then when Jesus comes, there are two points that are important. In the book of John, around John 22, if, if I'm not uh, 20, 21, the scripture says, he said to them, receive the Holy Spirit. Yes. So before yes. the outpouring of an anointing or dunamis, they were able to receive the internal Holy Spirit. Yes. Don't miss that one. Because we love the one who come with the sound, but he cannot come over you without the one intent. Because the internal Holy Spirit is dealing with your attitude, with your moods, with your lust, with your desires, and with your loneliness. If you allow the one who enter your heart, he might be working you until the one who comes over you can come over you, but you are already worked in internal. So when we talk about the outpouring of the Spirit, we have them to yearn for the indwelling Spirit first. Because it's dangerous, hear me, it's dangerous for the anointing to sit on you when your character is not wet. You have time. I don't know how to tell the other people, you have time. You know, uh, my young lion, is, we call them, it's a joke, I don't know that you know that. Younger guys are on fire, they want to take over the world, but they, 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 they still cannot get out of pornography. But publicly, they want to take over the world. I will say, calm down. Work private, you have time. Just work that issue. I don't know, did I say the issue? But whatever I said, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Did I say? <laughs> Rather than rushing to say, God has called us, we want to change nations, find someone who can discipline you. Yes, sir. That it can be accountable. Be accountable to your church. There is no time you are rushing. In fact, it's a spirit of the enemy that makes you run without being fully cooked. Oh. Whenever you go to a restaurant and there's a, 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 a half-cooked meal, you don't pay for it. No one eats half-cooked. In my sound deep, you can go to YouTube, you can listen to the apostolic mysteries, and have all the mysteries, it means no, nothing. If at 12, you're fighting a spirit. If you're sneaking out from someone's room, then it means nothing. Oh, say it's when it's some But you want, you want the external fire when you have not worked the internal. It's the internal Holy Spirit of gentle hair. We are at I message you now, I got to look up verse of that who never said that. We know we are going to parrot because of Caesar. That's the phone in here. Because our phone will crash and lose our way and then I got seven in a parrot. You are a disaster if you go with the power with no current. He has to work you in. He, he, he has to align you. 
No more figure that would hire at E. He who book a lazar at Wisa Mess. 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 Wisa we need that internal Holy Spirit because before the outpouring, they had an internal working spirit. That guided their ways, what you eat, what you drink, where you go. For now, no That's why Paul says, I beseech you, therefore, by the message of God, that you offer your body. Not your message, not your voice, your body as a living sacrifice. We find a lot of young people who want to sound deep and their bodies are not offered. They are used by effect of a foreign spirit, but they want to come. You are a portal of demons when you have not been able to discipline your flesh. You don't need the outpouring when you don't know how, how to sleep alone. No man if you want the outpouring, no matter you can sell for free. There's, there's, a, there's a dimension in God where you leave the phone and the hand wants to take, and the Holy Spirit says, Don't, and you want to take, and it says, Don't. Hallelujah. I'm passionate about young people. We're going to teach you here because you guys are not in a hurry. The, the, the nations are ready, but on behalf of I think who has an SMS because of an I was a woman, I am a pack on the SMS because I was a tea at Musu tea, which got a boss to Musu tea. I got a gold because men are sound and a parachi. We are a man to We need a generation that is going to go back in, 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 in prioritizing purity. Yeah. Holiness. Yeah. Not complex. You know, you know, I'm older now. I'm older. I've been where you are. Don't be complex. Be simplify it and let your behavior be your message. Because there's a danger of trying to speak someone. Let, 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 me, let me put it this way. If you speak someone's language in the spirit, you're advertising yourself in a rank that you don't belong to. Because you were blessed by what you had on YouTube. So now you want to mesmerize people. When the spirit did that tempt that range of revelation come. When they visit you, they might find you in the wrong room. Then you a disaster already happened. You pray on them and say, receive the indwelling Holy Spirit. It's that indwelling Holy Spirit that teaches you to submit. To say, you can get to land and come and pretty youth. Go to my booty, Lana, go go get to ban, wabo is man, and go go move to move position. Because I'm taught by the Holy Spirit who wants to use me in future. Ladies and gentlemen, Bazalwa, Nganza, Nisho, Bambanga, you know, and after 95, I don't read, I can't relate to them. AG, you know, it was around 2000, I just can't relate, that's how old I am. I finished school at that time, now I'm born 2001, what are you? Are you a bread? <laughs> I'm that old, I just can't believe it. Which about the birthdays are 2002? Last and first, I don't see where it was start, where it was start. But, but the beauty of me coming here, who would say, I'm going to go to the corner. 
but I'm gonna feed it up and call. So I'm cool. You see, I know I know my very thin abandoned metal circular talk shark. I cook shy. I'm enlightening you. Get you know what I do. But stay in him. Allow him to work your heart. One of the things that you must love now is prayer. Love prayer. Be addicted in the power of the Holy Spirit. I'm telling you. Your revelation ain't down. There was some fun. I was weird now. I was so impressed about it. Work your character now. Choose not to define yourself now. Uh, in our time, you know, we, we, we used to have testimonies like this. I was praying and he, I just laid my hands on myself and fire came upon me. It wasn't really, we had strange youth times. Ooh, we, we, it was strange if you don't have a word. If you don't know your Bible, I remember one day I quoted something that is not complex now, but it's complex then. I said to guys, and I'm sharing with guys, and we're excited, and I'm saying, Yo, Paul is an amazing guy. He had not even met Jesus, but the net 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 we had guys that were, were willing, and, 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 and in our times it was that, when last did you fast? How's your fasting life? We didn't see in prayer. So we learn now. It wasn't really who you listen to and impress people by posting someone who's powerful. This is one of my issues. One of my issues, uh, maybe you're younger for it, but yeah, maybe you guys are younger for it. You'll see it in future. One of my issues about us here in the subject, it might be, you might relate now, but in future, we are tending to appreciate people outside our country because we see them as powerful. But these people are, the thing that we are importing, is it important, right? Yeah. Even, we want to import everyone who is powerful, Umban Ban is powerful. And what, what bothers me is, they are not powerful except, uh, outside any law. They are using that Bible, it's just that you are lazy to do what they do. You could have done what they've done so that now you are a voice. Yeah. So, work yourself, someone said work yourself. So he breathed unto them the Holy Spirit. As they receive. At this point in time, they are not famous, they are not preaching. They just receive him and start putting their life together. Peter what you call singer? Tando wa kalu kala umundo ga dene kem. Wa ba kusin skabi afige kusin ga dene ga sebe zinga palat. U Peter wa enu mama ande kuluma, but it was only after he denied Christ where we see him crying at Lord. I don't know. You know it all. It was on that time where they had to say, "Noba, remember what they had sold Jesus, right?" And what we nama up u John wa ite go for it. Mina begin ga do ga betel. Nina nama be nina nina nina. So there was a very I'm an issues with my foot in Dicey. And when Jesus walked in, baby, said they said I'm not here, baby. What was we are tired? We are. It was then when they started realizing the value of being worked by the world. Oh, somebody into to this. And then, and then the word worked them out. And the word worked them out. They ate scriptures. And, and then he says something which is powerful. And this is uh, um, Acts chapter 1. You don't have to put it. So he says, wait. We will go on the outpouring. He said, this spirit that is coming, don't rush it. Oh, but it. Uh, he says, this is, this is Acts chapter 1. Let me, let, let, let me just get it quick. Acts chapter 1, he says, wait for the promise. He said, don't rush him. You have to be able to wait. The, 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 the other, uh, the old James, he says, tarry. Wait until he comes. Uh, can, can, I, can I talk, right? He says, wait as a figure. We are lean to again, but I lean to end to what about Sasebenza no way. Utilinda, Moban Sasejans, when I'm Jahi, Moban Shawa Fika, got in the kitchen, got a woman, Jelinda, me, me, Sejans, or a parrot. Say, wait until he comes. Oh, hallelujah. Wait until he can. I, I know, I know we are addicted to anointings, but not to intel, in, in working, in dwelling, uh, uh, workings or dealings of the Lord. 
wait. Said, wait until he comes. And, 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 and he says, he says, I told I told you about I'll baptize on fire, but he says, wait. Wait. Don't rush him. And I want I want to put here, if we were you know, more like a, a teaching is in this context, they were actually not rushing him. We don't find them and say, Oh, come, Holy Spirit, come. That's why I'm gonna close it and we'll pray. Because I got these, well, we are prepared. If you know him as one of Trinity, you realize that he doesn't dance for you. The thing about the Holy Spirit, when I shall leave you, So if we call on our pouring, we should be on a fast on purification. We should be having prayers like create in me, oh God, the clean heart. Work my thinking, my appetite, because I am this what we are living. Oh. How about it we are living? So one of the ways he says, he says, open new gates. Because what you know about God, the King of Glory, there is a protocol of the King of Glory to enter a city. So one, one of the things that the Holy Spirit, these guys were not saying daily, come, come. They were like, no, creating us a clean heart. Are we worthy of this? And the more they were cleaning themselves, the more heaven was popping in and said, they are very ready. Lord, wash me. I have anger, I have bitterness, lust is still in my spirit. The more they purify themselves, the more the Holy Spirit was looking on the watch. Don't call him, but wait in purity. Because it's not a song, he's a being, he's a God who's holy. He's the holy God. Now we have a generation say, come, come, move, move where? When he is not internally moving. You. If you break on the inside, he will come by himself. Oh, hallelujah. If you keep on in prayer, because every priesthood must know how to keep the fire burning. It's not yours to know the times. Yours is to keep the fire burning. Create a prayer life. Create a word life. Create a purity protocol. When a general man, general beggar, is he just a tomb for never means of clean rubbish. Now to never means of clean up for never. What about you? Try to figure out your figure. What that guy can't imagine. So that is a no mood to move your hands and pull. So that is a no move your intent. You follow me to see some things of God. I'm so to pray to move my body for men. What that guy can't imagine. 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 Right now, you need type of friends that you can be accountable for. But to watch, now you can take my phone any day. Now, I'm so telling you, see, check, it's cool again. Shannon, I'm not going to get it. Now, my God is okay. I'm a mess, my God to Shannon, I'm not do you know? I remember in back in the day I could say it in a in a white church. There was a sister back there, my goodness. Oh assassin. Tina assassin is what's up with the little really like normally wrong. 
Call us to walk to a pet. Oh, I go to a million day. But it got a half of me. I'm a conditia cry of me now. And it was a year blue. When you did a lesson's card, so would it before it happened? You go to Sangab and Kulum. We are now given the anchor. We are now a chitizit. I'm waiting on it. Wait upon the Lord, I say, wait. Oh, my love, I need the Possina was on this and Jerry goes. If I have a valley, don't go to the city by the Labat of a man, then a Penelo man. Go to Laba Valinda, a cosin, go to my Penamanta, Wabani, now a man of Linda, who be worn about this. It's time now while you're working for covenant brothers. Hallelujah. This is chapter one. If there's no prayer, let you watch before it. Let you buy baby. Oh, 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 so they are now aligning about Jahil Moinwen, but aligning the scriptures. But okay, as Pele and Jeremiah, let him be so mobile. Let him buy the book. Who last verse law? My so first verse. Who decided this? What they were together? When the Bible looks at it, the Bible says that you are to set us. I will look at it. Turn the mood of the time for it. We should put the record much. Yeah, I'm not too old, man. Too old, too much. Yeah, 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 yeah. You think I'm a sister for? Oh, my God, I'm going to go to Kulu. This is the morning when I'm so jamming there. Yeah, I'm going to go to Sunday. So, I'm going to go to Kulu. I'm going to go to Kulu. I'm going to go to Kulu. Let me approve to Angola. Hey, can I take you to rest? I'm there for you. You need to be there of the Holy Ghost. Whatever you need, you'll get it. No, I don't need your uh, whatever I need is in the Lord. Whether you should be supplying God with your mind, with your heart, and say, Take my heart and mold it. <laughs> Wait. Wait. I can wake you. I can wake you on the kingdom perspective. Do you know the difference between first Adam and the last Adam? The issue about first Adam, first Adam didn't earn what he got. The last Adam who became our high priest. He was touched and tempted on all points, yet without sin. There is a difference. Who mutton digi ito? No mutton sega wa shayega. What are these five men? Why to look at us? And to come over here and watch the world call a wa wa gadu. No baka seje zama na paga. No spirit of Adam. No spirit of Shiwa. They said to Hebrews, simple, hello. Who ain't sure the cross? Amen. Amen. Yeah, those the old. And the finish of our faith. What a mokala, what a way to be man. The temptation of Kana Yamki. What a mokala, what a mokala, what a mokala. Baba wasa, wana wasa. We are going to new God Jamomuto. We are planning to buy it. Ukule Jamomuto. We are living to more and more. Ukulu kulu yama kumuta zosemeza. The father is suffering, but we want people. We are going to have a full seven to some kulu. I was the one again. Ukulu nelo self-esteem. Usutam to mock God just to run shaba onk. You came here kule. You cannot lie to spirit because some people find value in preaching, but they don't find value in God. So they find value in performance, not in God. So they are like, Lord, anoint me, anoint me. No, when you want to do something, you must go. 
It will take seven hours of your sleep forever. Because any anointing is consecration. Any anointing is consecration. I, I know, I know. If you watch it, YouTube, will say something here. No, 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 it's a revelation of Christ. What is the revelation? The revelation is not theoretical knowing. It's what has worked you and changed you. That other people are recipient of your truth or of the revelation of Christ. Not what you say. Wait. Turn to your neighbor and say, can you be my cover? Can you be my accountability? You, you need to be just searching for that. Brothers, I was going to tell you to look fast. In the conversation, you clearly share my mind. I was going to say, oh, good, I want to pass. What does it work out? Pass your mouth. I will call it. What does it work out? Pass your mouth. I will call it. I will call it. Got to be a shadow of the I got no feet. Who told you this is the thing? Hallelujah. Oh, it's cut out the morning when I go and say, be bothered to walk without the experiential call. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hey, see it as it was is okay as it was is okay So
passando um lilo em costo de babu negado fulo faga na bo faga lixo e cata cata pa cata pa e cata cata pa sia vai o piso ueda But convince a person, a person is a pure spirit who comes with light. When light shines in darkness, darkness can't come with light. So purity is light that darkness cannot comprehend. So Umshumail is to know how to put a message, how to sound deep. Those guys, they didn't go to a Bible school. You must go to Bible school, more busy. Land the process again, and he should wear the hat inside Bible school. No, land the look show again. But I buy the Bible school. Put it on West Bible Cashy. The Bible is for none of such things. Why? Ti, ni na lezoba ufagas ba me Jerusalem no shaba wong. But you make that abaki chima no ba tu jia sa. Ah, Linda. Yeah, yeah, cool. 
One of the things, if you read the Bible, that has always been an issue. Which in message in John, they have a senior Peter, a sin is about 3,000 same time. I've seen a message, you witness. Do you know there are motivation speakers who are articulate more than preachers? So make sure you go a motivational speaker, no, no, Shumael, you witness. The motivation speaker, I'm telling you to don't give up, it's going to turn around. depression, But if you have encountered a spirit, not a man, a man who is used by a spirit, he pushes spirits away. What's our feel? So Tina said, "Kitchen with her before. What did the Bible go? No. What did Linda is in Tola Bank? A man does on ends and win a bank because that man does of your mean as a check with us as agency when I'm a parent. That they who correspond the internal power and external power. Now come and this will look at the finding member who found a page who you took and nine down and then as a born woman. Little have a figure in a band of bears about who no sin the souls. Tell <laughs> 